they provide a lot of nourishment and if they're grown together, they should definitely be eaten together. <laughs> Thank you for joining us at Kilkapon. Now I'm Jonathan Athens. Corn, bean, and squash, known as the three sisters. They were the main staple of the Kilkapa diet back in the day. And joining us to talk about this is Ulysses Heredia, Kilkapa Museum curator, and Andrea Mitchell, pesticide officer with the Kilkapa Environmental Protection Office. Thanks for joining us. And Ulysses, Andrea, you've got some samples of the three sisters, and they're also on display in the diorama at the Kokopa Museum. Let's just tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the Three Sister reference uh, has been there uh, at the exhibit space uh, since it opened. Uh, it's part of the diorama and uh, it has a lot to talk about so we decided to go with, with the topic of the Three Sisters. Um, so we hope you enjoy this talk. And Andrea, your mission is to protect and enhance the land and part of that is growing the original crops. And my understanding is that the three sisters, there was a special technique towards the way these were planted and the way they grow. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, the corn is grown first. It's the strong one. Uh, it grows in the center and when it gets a foot high, you plant the beans and then the corn becomes a trellis for the bean vines to grow up. And then the squash is planted at the bottom it'll produce big, large leaves that will protect the other two sisters, the corn and the beans. It'll provide shade, uh, keep the soil moist, uh, prevent animals from coming to feed on the plants too early, uh, outcompetes the other weeds, and together they grow, they grow strong. And it's really unique that it's actually a symbiotic relationship amongst these three different crops that they help each other. They provide a lot of nourishment, and if they're grown together, they should definitely be eaten together. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. And Ulysses, again, you were mentioning that this is also on display in the diorama in the museum. The museum's closed now, but it will be open sometime in 2021. And it depicts in the museum the way they ground the corn. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, we have uh, the elder woman uh, uh, grinding the, the corn. Uh, so it's about the, the process as well uh, being um, depicted there. Uh, we have a lot going on uh, as, a, as an everyday life uh, scene, and uh, the three sisters are very present there. And Andrea, what do you want to see moving forward in terms of teaching the methodology of growing the three sisters and teaching the young people about this? The three sisters, they are... It's a very sustainable method. They didn't have pesticides back then, so they just relied on natural biology to help it grow. Uh, the pesticides today on the crops, they're measured and the machines are calibrated. And each time uh, the soil gets turned over, but here with the squash, it protects the soil and the beans will provide nitrogen into the soil and that will help continue it to grow. Well, Andre, you also mentioned uh, that you shared uh, this meal with your family, right? Uh, how, how did you, how, can you tell us a little bit of the story, how you prepared it? Uh, I don't know the, the moments of sharing these three crops with your family. Okay, yeah, the, my favorite part of the Three Sisters is eating it. Uh, it's, you have the corn, which provides carbohydrates, the beans, which are a legume, provide protein, and the squash has lots of vitamins, and you can eat the seeds. And it's very easy to prepare. There are hundreds of thousands of recipes online. Uh, it could be just a simple side dish or make a hearty stew or a chili. And then corn was ground, like you said, back then, and the beans were dried and saved for later. And I think Ulysses should do all the cooking. <laughs> Maybe. <I'll> Maybe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's going to do it for us for now. 
Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. If you like what you see here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. Kokopa video podcasts are only available on the YouTube channel Kokopa Now. The audio versions are available on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and all major platforms. Thanks for joining us.